Hello there, it is Nancy Ann, and today I have for you Dia and Company Try Before You Buy. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. I really appreciate you being here and all of the wonderful support everyone has given me. So today I have for you a Dia and Company Try Before You Buy. This is a little bit different than my normal Dia box where a stylist chooses five items for you. This is a Try Before You Buy. It's similar to Amazon Try Before You Buy. I got to pick up to seven items to try and then I keep what I want and I return the rest and I only get charged for what I keep. So um, I thought this would be a fun thing to try. So Ruger and I, you can tell he's the man on the job here. <laughs> We're gonna show you seven pieces of clothing from Dia and Company. Dia and Co is a plus sized styling service. Really, uh, they're quite good. I really like them and their price points aren't out of the roof. Uh, most are, are pretty, is that the right terminology? Out of the roof, out the roof, out the roof. They're not out the roof. Uh, most of them are pretty reasonable as styling box goes, boxes go. I believe they run in sizes 10 to 32. So let's start out with this really pretty sundress. I have been looking for sundresses. I love dresses. Just pull them over your head. You're ready to go. If it looks a little bit bulky at the sides, it's because I just pushed my bra straps down and tucked them into my bra. So that's not the me, the dress. That's me. It's in this really pretty um, little print. I think they might call this a ditzy print. Yes, I don't know. And then it's got shirred straps that go down the back there. Keep everything up where it needs to be. And on the bottom, it's just a plain skirt that's gathered from ruching at the waist and falls straight down. This style does pull over your head. Let me turn around and give you the full look in the back there. So I think this is really pretty and the price on it was reasonable too. Um, this is the Mary Sky Marianne sundress. It's in orange azure. Uh, this is a size 0X, which I think is similar to like a 1012, and it is $59. I have been trying to improve my skirt wardrobe, and this would have been a contender, except, and I'm gonna hope this doesn't watch this. Yeah, so this doesn't fit. So I'm gonna tell you about this skirt and then I'm gonna come back with the shirt with something else on underneath so that I don't have to worry about losing my clothing <laughs> and exposing way too much. Um, uh, let me find it. This is the Downing Studio Riley Calf Length Skirt in mauve pink. It is size 0X, it is $60. I believe they claimed the size 0X was 10 to 12, but there's just no way. There's no way, I'm a size 10 at the smallest, so the waistline on this is way too big, obviously. All right, let's just, let's just move on. I was so hopeful for these jeans, but there's so many things wrong with them. So there's the waistband. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just too big. There's all sorts of extra fabric through the crotch area. Um, I have to pull them way, way up. They, I look like a dork. I look like a dork in these jeans. They've got the distressing at the knee, which I don't really mind, except it's not really at my knee because I had to pull it so far up. So I have to move it down here to move the distressing to the knee. And now I miss baggy pants. It's starting to hang at the crotch. This is just not a good look for me. <laughs> Here's the back of the jeans. <laughs> Those were my two bottoms. So I'm gonna have to put my own jeans on for this, the rest of the tops. But uh, let's see, what have we got here? These are the Silver Jeans Company Highly Desirable High Rise Slim Straight Leg Jeans in Light Wash Size 12, and they're $88. I have some Silver Jeans Co. that I got from Wantable that fit me great. Maybe they're a 10, but I don't know. Maybe that could have made the difference, but I don't think so. Okay. Let's move on to this little top. So this is, I love the color pink. Everybody knows I love bright pink. Um, it's a cute little top. It's um, 
got the typical thing going on where solid color high neckline makes the bust look bigger because there's nothing to break it up. I could wear a necklace with it if I really like it. I'm going to probably try it on with my jeans and see what I think because um, it does have these ruched, the ruched sides with the ties, which depending on how they hit, I think can be really, really flattering. And also you can adjust them up or down according to what looks good on you. So I do kind of look that. Does it cover under? Yeah, it covers underneath, covers my bra on the back. Here it is. Covers my bra on the side. This, this is the side of me. This is the back. I'm directionally challenged. And here it is from the back, getting ahead of myself. So the top might be a contender. I'll take a look at it with my own jeans when I put them on to try the next three tops. Just real quick before I put the other tops on with the jeans, I did want to show you this top with a proper fitting pair of jeans. I think this is a lot better. What do you think? Haven't seen it from the back, but I think this is kind of cute. I realized I do have a pink tank that I got from Trendsend a while ago, so I may not get it, but I did want to give the tank a fair, a fair shake. It's very flattering. It's a uh, loose through the waist and I think the, sh the adjustable shirring is really cool. Okay, now we'll get on to another top. Next up is this really cute puff short sleeve tee by One State. I think this is adorable. I think it might be a little big on me though. What do you think? So there it is. It's a ribbed here in the across the body and then the sleeves are a cottony material. So I think they're cute, but I do think they're hanging a little bit a little bit big on me. See that right there? So here's what it looks like out. Yeah, and now you can see why it's so large on me, why I say it's too big. It's very roomy through the waist. But sometimes I look back at these shirts that I think were too big, and then I think, ah, eh, they didn't look that bad. I kind of liked it with a little more room in it. So <sighs> we'll see. We'll see what I think at the end. So this, like I said, it's the Puff Short Sleeve Tee by One State in Ultra White. It's a size 0X and it's $49. But because a lot of times I go into a medium and tops, I think this one might be just a little bit too big. Next up is this Puff Sleeve Top Another, you know me and my puff sleeves, <laughs> in this dark teal color with black polka dots. This one also, it feels large to me. It feels like it's almost trying to slip off my arms. It's not slipping off my arms. It just feels loose. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Is this too big? I feel like I'm getting lost in it a little bit, but I don't know, maybe the size is all right. It is from the back. So it feels big. I uh, will say, I think if I tuck it in a little bit, it looks a little bit better. Little front tuck there kind of drapes a little bit better right there it's an awful cute top i just don't know that it fits me correctly this is the socialite eleanor puff sleeve top in azure black and a size zero x which would normally be i think about a 12 or a large and it's 42 dollars. so i tried i'm just not sure this one's fitting okay i will be back with one more top I was really hopeful for this tank. It's not quite working out. I will say uh, there's some really good things about this. First of all, the fabric on this is divine. It's like a nice quality t-shirt fabric that's brushed so it's super soft. It has a modesty tack in there, which is great. I just pulled it right over my head. And it is has adjustable straps. I have them pulled all the way up because this thing is so big on me. Um, it looks makes me look like I have a pooch in front. and. I don't have a pooch in front. So this is gonna be a no-go. And look at this. I can pull it way down here. That's an attractive look. Now I look like a bowling pin. So there we go. But anyway, it's a cute tank. I really wanted this one to work. I would love to have a little tank like this, but I would just always be fiddling and fussing with it. So that's a no-go. Let me show you from the back. I can see why this would work for a lot of people though. All righty. Let's talk about what this is. This is the Socialite Victoria Blue Son tank, tank in black and white. It's a size zero X. It's $39. So it's supposed to be a Blue Son style. I just don't think Blue Son style is necessarily the most attractive style on me. Alrighty, let's come back and wrap this up. 
with Dia and company try before you buy as opposed to the Dia box, which is their styling service, you still do pay the $20 styling fee. I think that's to cover shipping for them in case you don't purchase anything. But that fee, just like with the box, does go back towards anything that you decide to keep. Um, but however, with a Dia box, if you purchase all the items in the box, I think you get a 20% discount, possibly 25. I can't remember. I will have that information though in the drop down box if you want to try a Dia box where the styling stylist actually styles a box for you. I'll have all the information on that in the, the cliff notes down there so you can see how to do that for yourself. And if you use my link to get your own Dia box, you will get a $25 credit with Dia and Co. And so will I. Um, I don't think I'm going to do try before you buy again because it turns out I'm really bad at picking out my own clothes with this company. Everything was too big on me except for these two items. Um, we've got the tank. I think this one was 32 and I think this dress was 59. Let me double check. Yeah. Yeah, the tank is 32. I already have a bright pink tank, although I'm gonna take a look at the footage because the one that I have is a Michael Stars. It's more a muscle tee, um, muscle tank style, and it's pretty tight. So I don't know, this might be a good ward addition to my wardrobe. Uh, I really do like this dress, and I don't think I let you see a close up on the print. But I think this is a gorgeous print and I've been looking for sundresses and this one really fit me well and I felt like it was flattering. It could be dressed up or down. So I think I'm probably going to hang on to this at least and return everything else. Everything did come in three different packages. Five items came in one package and then two other items came independently. So returning them is free, but I think it might be a little bit of a hassle. I'm going to find out here in a little bit. So there you go. Dia and Co. Try before you buy. I liked it because I was going to get seven items to show you instead of the regular five, but I'm not so good at sizing myself. I'm also wondering if I should keep going with Dia and Co. because they are a plus size service. And it's hard, I think, for the stylist to find a pieces to fit me. It's certainly hard for me to find pieces to fit me. I really did love the stylist with this one though because she liked to play into the fact that I love 40s and 50s styles. So anyway, there you go. Dia and Co. Try Before You Buy. Please let me know what you think down below. Be sure and check out that link. Also, uh, I want to mention Rakuten. They, I know I brought them up before, but they do, I think it's a 3% cash back. Uh, if you purchase through them at Dia & Co. So check out that link down below too. If you use my link for the first time, you will get $30 cash back with, I think it's a $30 purchase and they pay it to you. Um, they put it into your PayPal account or send you a check on the 15th of the month in addition to any cash that you earned with purchases. So take a look at that. It's just a win-win with Rakuten. I would also get a $30 uh, bonus if you do that too. And I would really appreciate that. Every little thing I can do right now to make money with the channel instead of spending it, <laughs> I'm trying to do it. Well, I want to thank you very much for taking the time again to watch me uh, take a look and see what Dia & Co. Try Before You Buy is. Uh, if you would be so kind as to leave, just hit the like button real quick, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this, what you thought about the styles. If you tried Dia and Co. Tried, try before you buy yourself, I would love to hear about it. If you would like to subscribe, you enjoy these types of unboxings and try-ons and hauls and all that good stuff, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that hit that notification bell if you want notification of upcoming videos. Alrighty, that is it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye and be blessed. If you're returning, I really appreciate you being here and all of the support, and all of the support. I swear I had nothing to drink before this began.